Ladies and gentlemen, let us receive our Father who is coming to give us a word from God. Come on, Church of God, celebrate, rejoice, 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 rejoice. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. So, today is the day of the Lord. We had this um, crossover big sand. We thought it was only for Glenview and uh, Glenora. But I will see many people are here. And uh, I'm so excited. We are, we are going to try to push quickly because it's going to be hot. Then I was telling this, we are going to see the hand of God today. So, Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Oh, God is good God. God is very good God. You know, sometimes you don't know what to do. Uh, you hear people say, stand up and say, the good of Ezekiel, the good of Abba. Try to stop it. You, you can't. We try to stop it, but it's hard. You find people. We don't want people to just say, uh, God of Abba, God of God, but uh, you find it here. It's hard to stop. We say, please, but you know, what can we do? It's not a doctrine, but can you hear yourself? We don't know who tells these people. So, uh, you may be sit if you want to sit. We never tell people to say this, what they are saying. So we don't know how to stop it, and uh, people like it. People like to show the difference. That's why they are saying what they are saying. Anyway, uh, today it's uh, the day of the Lord, and we will learn together today. The other reason we are here today and to uh, encourage one another in our crossover a Big Sunday. So, uh, we know the sun will be the same, the moon will be the same, but things will never be the same. So, the other reason I'm here and encourage you uh, to pray for the wisdom and revelation. I will tell you why I have a burden for us to pray, although we receive the message to the Holy Spirit, to pray for the wisdom and revelation. Revelation is just something being covered. We are praying that thing to be opened. Now, I'll start by reading the book of Amazwatang and Pileo, the book of Proverbs. We will start there and then we'll discuss our things. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, beginning in verse 1 up to verse 7. My son, if you receive my words and uh, treasure, treasure my commandments within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart 
to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as a silver and search for her as a hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understand. Father God, we have read your word. Varuantiato Sahunu Kahaseo Uyoni Kamusuanisa Namo Wairihano Wahenarua Kauro Naya Tau Menu to Hamaware to Ho Kailia Raho Rahalula Rehasiari Machine. Take over now, the Holy Spirit. Teach us, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. We are here today to our big sand crossover, big sand. Now, I know a number of people, after you have received the letter of 10 days prayer, number of people, they will pray a prayer, a prayer of the, the things of the world. I know. Some people, they are going to pray, but their prayer is in the wrong way because they are not praying uh, spiritual. They are praying for things. So that's other problem they are going to make. But here, few words, those who are saying, says, yes, if you cry out for discernment. Now, I like to talk a little bit about uh, in our teaching of revelations, it seems that we need to pray uh, and uh, seek discernment. The reason for this, now, there are going to be a lot of miracles, and God's going to use many people, miracles. And when God begins to do miracles, and the devil will do exactly in his own way to blind people. So you need the same spirit to know whether that miracle there is from God or that miracle there is for the trick of the devil. That purpose of you to pray for the design spirits. Because miracle is going to be, be there. We are, we are praying. God's going to use us. A lot of young people are going to be used by God. Miracles. But the devil will do some other area. So, to try to take other people. So, you need design spirit. You need design spirit to know. You have to have, a, as I wrote here, some people, they listen here instead of listening in the spirit. So that's my warning. God's going to use many, many people. Miracles going to happen. God's going to use many people. And the devil, exactly if you read the book of uh, Exodus uh, chapter 8, you find the same when Moses was beginning to do miracles. And what happened? And Pharaoh said, my people can do the same. Exactly, it's going to happen. So I'm warning you to be careful because it's going to mix up and you need to have a spirit of God. You have to have a earnest conscious and you got a heart. You got a heart. 
You know, there's something you, you like it, it seems good, but you find down the spirit say, mm mm, mm. but you, you like it. But the spirit said, mm mm, mm mm. So that's my encouragement, that's my warning. We are going to pray, miracles are going to happen everywhere. I are happening all over the world today. People are doing, God are using many people. But never, we have said all the time, never be attracted by miracle. Be attracted by life of the person. That's number one thing. Not by miracle, but the life of person who are performing that miracle. Check his life. Then you accept his miracle. So that's our big sand, the cross of our big sand to warning our people to be careful. Then you repeat the same. It says here, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understand. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice and understand. If you seek her as a silver and search for her as a hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord. So that's one message I'm giving you today that it's better to pray to God, Father, wisdom and understanding the will of God. Now, but why, uh, why we need revelation? Why we need the design spirit? I'll tell you how many people we have lost. Now we come to what we wrote. How many people Proverbs as we go back to our uh, main sub chapter 29 of, of, of Proverbs. Chapter 29 and that we read that uh, verse well known verse all the time. Oh yes. Proverbs 29 verse 18. Where there is no revelation the people cast off restraint. But happy is he who keep the law. Where there's no revelation, people remain back. They don't move. So, lack of a revelation and the discernment, I think, is much big problem not listening to the spirit and the conscience, but they listen their heard. They listen their head. Now, I have many people in my church. When yesterday I was thinking about in my church, who has lost opportunity because of lack of uh, revelation and wisdom. Oh, then I can talk about. You now I can mention the girls, two girls, three girls in my church. Some of the girl now, she's gonna no man, no, no no one is gonna marry her now. She's getting old. When a boy one came to her to marry her, but lack of revelation, she said no. <laughs> and no and no. And until now, she came back to me, Baba. Now I'm ready. Too late. Too late. Now, Baba, I'm ready. Too late. I got three. One, she has married in just to pick anything. After she has refused the best one. Now she said, I can just pick anyone in the road. So all this happened because of lack of revelation. Lack of design spirit. Yes, I've got a man, businessman, two, three, four business people. They listen, hey, 
The business people, what they say, what they look with the eyes is opportunity. It's an open opportunity. There's an opportunity there. The opportunity. They see opportunity without listening to the spirit. They see opportunity. Opportunity is there. You just think by head. But you never listen to the spirit. How much, how much you have lost? You cannot tell me that money you lose. You lost. I know it. You and me and you, that one. You have lost that money. It's gone. And you feel shy to tell people that I did a big mistake. I didn't listen. A lot of business people, they lost money because just using the head. <laughs> money, 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 without listening to the spirit. So, money has gone and you cannot tell anybody. You feel shy to tell that money has gone. So, that's, we need design spirit, we need wisdom, we need revelation. We, I said, I've got people, not only my church, number of people have lost because of lack of revelation. But some people, they just hear without prayer about it. They just hear good news. Oh, oh, so you can make money. You can, ooh, let me make money. And, uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it says, uh, cry for wisdom. Cry more than you cry for money. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, gathered to learn. So we cannot repeat the same mistake. We can read the scripture. Uh, chapter 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 and 11 and Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 struggling in life because of lack of revelation Isaiah 5 verse 13 Isaiah 5 verse 13. This is that Isaiah 5 verse 13. You that that word there. So uh, therefore my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Because they have no knowledge. They come now. Captivity means you are now in the hands of the devil. You are a slave now. Because of lack of the knowledge of the will of God. Lack of knowledge of the will of God. Struggling in life. To know things too late. Ah. Oh, sorry. Ah, I, I wish I knew this before. He said, to know things too late because of lack of revelation and wisdom. We too late. Too late. No, we are saying next year we must all say no more. To know things too late because of lack of revelation and wisdom. So we, so we cannot waste, I say here, why revelation? Why revelation? Revelation so we cannot waste time doing things ignorantly, doing things being ignorantly. So we are praying that next year we will not waste time. Through revelation, we will see things which other people don't see. We will hear things which other people don't hear. 
through revelation and the knowledge of knowing God, what happened? The anointing will be increased in our lives. In all of us, we know that knowledge is a power. When you do something with knowledge, with understanding, you do it with all your energy because you know this is the right thing. But a number of people sometimes will just say, I do by, by faith. Now, when you say by faith, some is just trying. I just believe by faith. By faith. But you don't. Yes, you got by faith. That means you are blind. You just. So, we don't want to go the same mistake again. Through revelation, the anointing, through revelation and, and the knowledge and of knowing God, the anointing will be increased. Hear me today. All those who walk in the kingdom of God will not be the same next year. Will not be the same next year. Then, why next year? Because those who walk in the kingdom of God, they will be, they will walk by faith, not by sight. <clears throat> so, I wrote here, every year, I have to have a new notebook to write new message of that year. Why? Because when you are walking in the kingdom of God, you are you have faith. And the faith in you is like a seed of mustard seed in you. The seed that is in you. A number of people, they didn't know. Some they don't know. That only when you read the book of Matthew, the book of all of, of Luke, all those chapters talks about, when Jesus talks about He's talking about uh, mustard seed. Mustard seed. He said, if your faith is like this, if your faith is like this, what it means that when you are walking in the kingdom of God, the faith in you grows. Time to time, your faith will, will grow. So, uh, it's very, very important to uh, know this. Uh, we can read that uh, chapter. Maybe you don't know. It's in the book of Th Second Thessalonica. We see there. First Thessalonica. We will, uh, Second Thessalonica. We will see. Uh, Something there, chapter one, and verse uh, verse three, of Second Thessalonica, chapter one, verse three. Thessalonians, chapter one, Second Thessalonians, chapter one, verse three. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your faith grows exceedingly, and that the love of every one of you are bound towards others. Now, Jesus said several times when he talked about the kingdom of God, other verses, he said, the word of God is just like a, taking, a man take a seed, put in his garden. And that 
You can go and so long that seed is alive. You can go and sleep and nothing to do. But this, that thing there is going to grow and grow. All this he was talking about the kingdom of God in us. When you are walking, when you are walking in the kingdom of God, you will never be the same. That's why I say me, every year I have to have a new notebook to write the message of that year because I've grown. My faith, the faith of God in you grows. That's why I got people in my church who were, when, some of, when they came to Bible school here, they were full. Oh, so some of them were like stupid people. <laughs> never, never people believe that those people can be something. And, but today, those people, the, the seed has changed them. Oh, uh, on the National Council, I was using, uh, I said, uh, what you call Edmund Tema, and uh, that, that one. People who came to this church without, no, without anything well, they have a wrong, wrong, wrong in their head. But today, <laughs> they are sharp because the seed has grown. So I want you to know that if you are walking not by sight, if you're walking by faith, faith grows. That's why next year you'll never be the same Amen. if you walk by faith. But if you walk by sight, yes, you'll see the same thing. But if you walk by faith, he repeated and repeated and repeated in the scriptures. And I think uh, in the book of Luke, uh, is that it? <laughs> book of Luke, there's something he said there. A lot of things we can learn. Uh, Luke chapter 17. You can see something. Verse 6. Luke 17, verse 6. So the Lord said, If you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this marabout. So, what it means? When you are walking in the kingdom of God, you will never be the same. Because the faith in you grows. Grows, grows. He explained that. See, then he said, it grows and become a big tree that even birds can come and say that. All this he was talking about, faith in us. So only people who walk by sight, they remain the same. But those are walking by faith in the kingdom of God. You will see the difference. Every year, you will know better. Yes. Next year, you will know better. Yes. Next year, you understand that verse better. Yes. Next year, you understand scripture better. Yes. Because you are growing. I want you to say amen. amen. So, I'm saying to my children, walk in the kingdom of God. Yes. Walk in the kingdom of God. Yes. Walk in the kingdom of God. Yes. Believe, believe. Amen. Not just believe, but act upon it. Amen. Believe it. Amen. And act upon it. Amen. I told you that number of people, we say, I've got faith, but it's not, our faith is doubting. Uh, did you hear that story, what happened? Uh, that happened here. Another man was uh, practiced to walk on the wire. So while he was walking the wire, another one, he began to preach about him. Say, Mr. So can you walk in the wire? Then one day people came to see. Then he said, you believe me? Come and sit in the wheelbarrow. I walk with the wheel. Ah! <laughs> but you told me I can walk in the wire. Why not believe now? <laughs> we think we believe. <laughs> it's not true. If we believe, how can we refuse to walk in the wire? And yet we preach about him. Say, brother, so can you walk in the wire? 
Then they say, now sit in the wheelbarrow. They say, ah, ah, ah. Real faith. Real faith does not have eyes to see. Real faith is just like a blind. That's true faith. But all what we say with God's faith is trying. It's, we don't have. So if we are walking, my sharing to you next year. Is that the Lord allowed you never be the same. Oh, what happened this year from the, the way you pray, uh, from the way you handle your family, from the way you handle your money, and the, you handle the way you handle your body. Oh, what happened this year is big school for you. So next year, you'll be better. You'll be better if you believe. If you believe the word of God. Amen. So, yes, people, you hear that woman who had given testimony about healing. There are some healing that it began to start a process, set until you are complete, like that. So, but the important thing, I told you that I had, after preaching too much in America, I had a thyroid. But then the doctor say you're gonna die with the thyroid, and they say we well, are you need the operation. It went out ten years, but I never say it's my sickness. I keep on to say no, me no, me no, me no, me no. no. After 15 years, uh, I went to the doctor. So the doctor said, ah, uh, now you must come only after six months. You come. But I knew God has healed me. I said, ah, then I went again. Thyroid has gone. Because I never said this is my sickness. I said, no, 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 no. But step by step, step by step, it disappeared. Went back to the doctor. Doctor said, I don't know what happened. You can come and check once a year. Because doctor need to keep a file now for so he can get something to eat. <laughs> I knew I was healed a long, long time, but the doctor cannot close his file, so he can get something to eat. But the reason God healed me, I didn't just say God knows. Uh, God knows. I keep on saying no, no, in the name of Jesus, no, no. Until now, if, when I go for check, you know, I go for check all the time. When you see my age, they put in a machine. And doctors say, this, this age must be something wrong with your body. But they, when, when they come out, they say, ah, you are lucky, eh? <laughs> I'm, I'm not lucky, I'm a blessed man. I'm a blessed man. So, my children, I encourage you to stay in the Word of God. I encourage you to read the Word of God. Don't keep sickness in your body. Refuse, refuse. So, uh, today, many people are going to be healed today. I will feel sorry for those nice flowers. All this flower, you're going to see what's going to happen today. All this flower is going to go when we begin to heal, heal the sick in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus never said, just pray for the sick. Jesus said, heal the sick. Yes. We are going to heal the sick today Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Only James tell us to pray, but Jesus said, go, heal the sick. Yes. So, I'm crushing. That's why uh, every year I have a new, new notebook to write new messages. Faith grows, as we read, Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. Hebrew 13, Hebrew 11, verse 3. We understand by faith. We understand by faith. When you hear the word of God, 
it causes you, it causes your faith to grow in the kingdom of God. Our last message today as a crossover message is hanging on in the book of Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. So it's hanging there so we can remember all the time. 13, verse beginning of verse 18. Then he said, what, what is kingdom of God like? And to what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed, which man took and put in his garden and grew and become a larger tree and the birds of the air are nested in that branch. And again he said, to what shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like living, which a woman took and put, hid in the three measures of meal till it was all living, until all is living. So the word of God is going to do in our lives. And in Luke 17, I read verse 18. So one, so believing, and, oh, let, we must finish that book of uh, John, the book of John, chapter 11, book of John, chapter 11, we will see that there. We will read that verse 40. <clears throat> chapter John, book of John, chapter 11, verse 40. And Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would be believe, you would see the glory of God. We stop there. If you could believe, you can see the glory of God. Now, as we cross over all the healing, when is the, the reason God healed the sick, that matter, devil tried to do the same, but the purpose of healing the sick is for God. For us, our faith to believe our God. Amen. To make sure to have that we are worship through God. Amen. That the purpose of healing, it says healing is give glory to God. Amen. It causes people to love that God. Amen. Did you hear the woman, woman giving testimony here? Says the God of Ezekiel. We didn't tell her to do that. But when she was healed in this church, she said, who, leading this, who brought this God here? They say, Ezekiel, so, go to the Ezekiel, heal me. <laughs> Nobody tell her that, but she just asked, who brought this God who healed me here? When is it that man who brought, what is his name? They said his name is Ezekiel. Say, now, I pray the God of Ezekiel has healed me. <laughs> That's what she said. She said, the God of Ezekiel. Now, the God be glorified. So we're going to see people going to be healed. But oh, me, important things, my children, I want you to have a better, good life. Amen. Don't be stupid, man. Amen. How can they allow people to steal your money all the time? One to be one time, no more. Amen. You cannot allow that thing to continue happening. So, you must know that God wants you to have a better life. Not be, remain stupid. 
Don't the people, yeah, and the Bilba Mana, one on the Bira Mariam, ah, I come Zukuru Kaba Mari, eh, eh, ah. I, I, I don't know where my money has gone. Ah, my money, I don't know what's going on. Mama Gute, are you ready to come? Uh, Mama Gute, ah, ah, Maria Angu, anda kupi. Maswaisi! Ah. I say, God wants you to live better life. Obir yes. wakamu ishe to finish no more. They stole my passport, my wallet, and the um, barry. But now when I go to the body, you know what I do? I do this. <laughs> now today, sinners are going to be saved. I said, Glenn Nora, Glenview, bring sinners. People are going to be saved. People are going to be healed today. Yes, miracles are going to happen. But number one is, one is sinners who are drunkards. People are sinners. They're fornicators. I want them today to repent so they end the new year with a new life. New year with a new life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You now come. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We have had the powerful word of crossing over and it's a day for somebody today to cross over being a child of God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life there's someone today you are standing there you are a sinner you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. You have never received him in your heart. This is your opportunity to come and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. So you can cross over into the next year while you are now a new creation, a child of God. Maybe you backslid, but this is your opportunity now to come back to the Lord Jesus Christ so you can cross over when you have got God in you in your life. Maybe you are just somebody. You know the Lord Jesus Christ is your personal savior, but you, have never, you, 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 you don't belong anywhere. But you have now decided to say, I want Zayoja Ford in faith to be my home. This is your opportunity from the people who are here and even those who are seated in the churches and those who are seated in the homes watching right now, attending the service together with us now. It's time now for those people who have not yet received the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal savior to come forward now. Come forward now, come forward now, come forward now. Come forward now, come forward now. Thank you, Jesus. Come forward to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Come forward, come forward, come forward. We are waiting for you. 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 This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They are coming. Open way for them, please. Open way for them, please. They are coming. They are in the churches. Go forward and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Go forward and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Go forward and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rejoice. Thank you, Lord. You have done a good decision. That's the right decision that you have made. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They are coming. Open way for them. Don't hinder them, please. Don't hinder them. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. You who okay. have come forward, raise up your hands now. Thank you. You have done a beautiful thing. And I want you with all your heart to follow after me this prayer. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you. I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that he died for my sins and rose again the third day. I need to be saved. I open the door of my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your blood. And make me a child of God. I receive you today. Lord Jesus, in my heart, as my personal Savior. Lord Jesus, make me to be born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for forgiving me my sins, for washing my sins with your blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making me a child of God. And by your grace, I will follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take them now quickly. Our time is on, not on our side. Take them now quickly. Let them go this way. Take them this way. Oh, no, there's no place. Take them this way. Take them this way. Please. Time is not on our side. Who, yes. Who can, lift their, who can lift his hand so that people can follow you? Someone lift your hand and then people must follow you. Yes. Okay. Just lift your hands there. Yes. There, there are some buckets. Jesus. Okay, yeah, there. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Please, quickly. let's follow. Le quickly. Let's follow those counselors who are going to. Yes. Counselors, come. It's yes. one one. We, we we are going to talk to these people one one. Yes. Them out. Get yes. Them out. Thank you, Jesus. Please. Thank you, Jesus. Le Thank let's you, quickly Jesus. move. Let's quickly move. Thank you, Jesus. People, give me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All the GPs, all the pastors, all the what? This is the number one job that we are standing for, that Jesus died for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please move them quickly, please. Jesus. When the heat. Yes. Open another way here. Open flow. another way here. Amen. When the heat. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. When the heat. Join us all now. When the heat. Jesus. Amen. When the heat. The virtue of healing, the virtue of healing flowing, the virtue of healing flowing, the virtue of healing flowing, the virtue of healing Expect the healing waters, they are flowing right.
I'm going to repeat it in the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now, you foul spirit of hallucinations, hallucinations, hallucinations. I say go in the name of Jesus Christ. You foul spirit of cancer. I command you in the name of Jesus. I say go, you foul spirit of high blood pressure, you foul spirit of ulcers, you foul spirit of asthma, you foul spirit of arthritis. I'm commanding you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I say go in the name of Jesus Christ, you foul spirit of whatever disease is occupying somebody now. You have stayed there for a long time, but I say to you, this moment is your moment to go out in the name of Jesus Christ. I say go, I say go, 
I say go. I say go. Foul spirit of spiritual husband. I'm commanding you right now to go. I'm commanding you right now to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Foul spirit of witchcraft. Foul spirit of wizard. I say go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be delivered 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 now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Riba shaka takayanda. Rebete tera banabasha. Rebele tera banabasha. Jesus. 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 Any foul spirit that is here, I lose you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I dismantle you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say go. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rabba Shaka Bababa. Rebete Terabana Tata. Rebete Terabana Shaka. Be healed now. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I see somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your heart was heavy and painful. Your heart was heavy and painful, and you could not breathe well because it was painful. But right now, as I'm speaking, the virtue of healing has touched you. The virtue of healing has touched you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, 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 Jesus. The kingdom of God has arrived. 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 You are not spectators, but you are part of a team. You are part of a team. You are part of the team. The kingdom of God has arrived. The kingdom of God has arrived. The kingdom of God has arrived. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Where is that one with a heart problem that I have that I have said, that I have just called. The one with a heart problem, where are you? Jiraba Shakata. Deliverance is continuing to take place. All the unseen husbands that were coming to you at night, no more today. No more today. You are crossing over. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, if you can open your mouth. Jesus, Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. 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 Thank you, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 the consuming fire of God is burning everything. 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 The consuming fire of God. The consuming fire of God is burning. All the witchcraft is burning. It's burning. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Evangelist, there is a great miracle Jesus. here. If I can talk yes. to you now. Jesus. I've yes. got my mother yes. here who is following yes. me. Yes. She had a serious yes. heart problem. And yes. yesterday, she nearly collapsed. She says, But as you were preaching, Jesus touched her. She is now healed. Let's give glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Zinonzima <laughs> As Pandaga so Pepu Kanda Gunswashan and Dagans Wakus Kampamo Yopangu Paka Baiwa, Dishinamatirwana Baba Elder and Amaim Fima, Nemna Brother Jasne Muriangu. The lady who's talking has a heart problem. Saka Marua Kanduanira and Yasha Nogutin, Dagatom Boshka Pagutin, Dagatom Bona Rima, and Nambosia, Dagatom Botore Ruan Sherry, 
When I came today, I was not feeling well. I, my heart was a bit heavy. And then I thought, you know, when I open my heart, it's not going to open. I am now healed as the word was being preached. And I came up here. I have received my healing. Look, now she can jump. Any pain? Any pain? No, no pain. No pain. As we, con we are going to continue, no but this time, as we close, with those who are watching us in television, we are now going to bless them, and we will continue here. But this time, we are want to bless all those who've been watching in the television. Today is your day. Cross over, Big Sunday. Cross over, Big Sunday. Cross over big Sunday. The life never be the same. God heals you. God heals you. New life in your life. Receive your healing. Complete it. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to bless your children all over the world. Father God, thank you. Thank you for the spirit of revelation. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Bless your children that next year they never be the same. No mistake again. The spirit of wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding, the will of God must be continued. In Jesus' name, receive your blessing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.